Hello everyone, welcome back to our second video on weather. Now this video talks about using fine and gross motor skills to learn about weather. So let's go! Welcome back to video two on weather. To start off with, we're going to talk about my ideas for using fine motor skills to learn about weather. My first idea is to get some toys that are squeeze toys that allow the children to pretend like they're creating wind to move objects. This is great not just to talk about wind, but also developing those fine motor pre-writing skills, pinching their fingers by pinching the toys, because you're strengthening your hand muscles by pinching the toys. The next fun fine motor activity is to have a pair of gloves and allow the children to practice putting them on and taking them off. For young children, this takes a lot of coordination and is a great fine motor activity. It's great for also talking about cold weather. Another fun idea is to create white sparkle Play-Doh that you could create at home and encourage the children to make snowballs with the Play-Doh when talking about snowy weather. Next, for talking about wind, is to create a fan that you can use and send home with the children. This works on their fine motor skills as they're trying to fold the paper and create a fan. They might need a little help with this and you might need to work one-on-one -on -one to help them learn how to fold the paper. Okay, moving on to gross motor. There are a lot of fun things you can do outside for gross motor and weather. The first one is to set up a sprinkler and let the kids play in the rain. Another fun idea is to get soft white balls or cotton balls and let them have a snowball fight. The fun thing about this is you could do it inside your classroom or outside, whichever works best. An obvious one might be to play outside on a sunny day and talk about the sunny weather when you're outside. When talking about cold weather, it might be fun to freeze some ice blocks and bring some tools to allow the children to chip away at the ice, maybe hiding some things in the ice before you freeze it so they have something to find as they are chipping the ice away. This is great for a hot day, but when you're talking about cold weather. If you can't go outside to do this, this is a great thing to also do maybe in a sensory tub if needed. And lastly, when you're talking about wind, you can have balloons and fans. Now you have to be a little careful when using fans around young children, but as long as they are at a safe distance away from the children, you can allow the fans to blow and let the children throw the balloons into the wind and let them float away. All right, those are my ideas on how to talk about weather using your fine and gross motor skills. If you have any other ideas on how you could use those skills to talk about weather, please leave me a comment and let me know. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching everyone and I will see you next time. Bye.